Okay, let's start. Hi everyone. I'm Remy Kutab from the H team, the H team lead. Uh, today I will uh, update you about what we've done and uh, what's what's coming for us. So first thing, uh, the H team uh, will now be part of the quality department. Um, so one uh, one thing to mention is that the, the team is already uh, actually working on, on uh, improving the quality of uh, different things like uh, our development workflows, our code base, uh, in general, uh, technical updates, and also our issue tracker and community contributions. So it's it uh, actually makes sense to be in this new uh, department that will be uh, directed by uh, BJ that joined us recently. And that also means that we uh, will focus um, more on GitLab QA in the coming uh, quarter. So that's a good thing. And BJ will uh, help us uh, identify the, the most uh, critical things to prioritize on and uh, from, a, yeah, from a quality point of view. So I'm really excited about that. And um, I hope it will, it will uh, uh, turn out great. Uh, so with that, uh, regarding the community side, we merged 76 merge requests uh, in the 10.1 release. So that's one more than 10.0. Uh, uh, so that's great. Uh, we still have uh, a lot uh, of uh, new merge requests every release, so that's awesome. And uh, uh, as usual, uh, feel free to uh, to help triaging them and reviewing them uh, as you see them coming. Um, another cool thing uh, in this uh, merge request that we merged, uh, so one thing really cool is to be able to define custom attributes for users. Uh, thanks to Marcus Scholar, and he, he also um, implemented custom attributes for groups and projects uh, that should be uh, available in 10.2. And uh, yeah, he also um, uh, provided the, doc the documentation, so that's great. Uh, and uh, a few other things uh, more. Um, so the first one about uh, new uh, creation services for SSH, GPG, and deploy keys, uh, thanks to Hasib. Um, so this, this was a backstage uh, change, uh, but that's uh, always welcome. And the community is always eager to work on that. So that's great. And the two, the two other um, merge requests are about um, adding versions of uh, GitLab components in the admin dashboard. Uh, thanks to Travis Miller for the GitLab pages version and to Jacopo Bessi for the Gitali version. And last but not least, of the, of the merge requests that I highlighted here, of course, uh, are the, whoops, the one, sorry about that, the one um, that, uh, so decrease our the complexity of our code. Uh, so that's that's a, a continuous effort by uh, Maxim Ritkin uh, for a few uh, months now, and there are still more to come. Uh, it's still uh, we still want to to decrease more the complexity of our code. So that's great, and also a continuous effort by Blackstone from the core team uh, about mi migrating Spy Spinac to RSpec. And uh, we, I think we can hope to, to get rid of Spy, Spinac uh, before the end of the year. So that would be awesome. Um, about testing, the great news is that we are now using uh, high CPU droplets um, for our runners, uh, thanks to Tomas from, uh, from the CICD uh, team and, and, and thanks to the CICD team in general for that. Um, so we can see that uh, the, the, the pipelines now run approximately uh, two times faster. So that's really great. And, and also they are more stable uh, because previously we had uh, problems with loud neighbors. 
like we our pipelines could take between one hour and, and two or more hours so that was not very stable so right now it's uh it's uh uh, way better i think the whole pipeline takes um always takes uh, less than an hour and the faster should be around 35 to 40 minutes uh, and we also uh, had 33 test related merge requests so this also is a continuous effort from all the teams so thanks uh, everyone for for being there uh, the next stop is about performance. Uh, so we'll, uh, we, we will focus, uh, I will talk about that later, but we'll focus on, on performance also for the, for the last quarter. Uh, and Jenshin already contributed one great improvement for the branches page. And uh, the, the performance of this page will be uh, greatly reduced, uh, greatly improved. Um, basically, we'll do a, a lot less uh, calls to Git and uh, so that will uh, that will be a lot faster. Uh, so you will see that in the in the coming uh, tender to RC. And uh, thanks to Zegoyan, we also have a new. Uh, you can categorize your changelog with the performance type. So that's uh, that's uh, that's useful. About QA, um, as I said, we will uh, focus more on QA this quarter. Uh, so thanks to Robert, we now run uh, the QA scenarios uh, uh, for, so we create projects um, in subgroups of, uh, of a top level uh, QA group, basically, to not uh, pollute uh, the, the, the project uh, list. Uh, and the, the point of that is that we plan to be able to run QA against staging. So it's, it's better if, you, if we can just create all the testing projects under um, a top level uh, group. And uh, a great iteration from um, Richard from the build team uh, is, uh, is about testing the integration with Mattermost um, in using GitLab QA. So I linked there that uh, it was uh, it, it's uh, composed of uh, four steps, and as you can see, the steps are uh, one step in, in the QA project, one step in the C project, and and so back, so forth. So that's uh, that's a great example of iteration, and uh, really thank you, Richard, for that, and we'll build upon uh, what uh, what's been. Uh, uh, created to to create new scenarios to test uh, like uh, um, backup restores, um, container registry, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and uh, yeah, we we had uh, approximately ten QA merge requests, so GitLab QA is getting more love, so, so that's uh, really great, and we'll make it uh, uh, more useful and more complete in the upcoming months. And uh, and also, uh, hopefully, we can run it on every merge request. Uh, Trial automation. So we now run the, the automation daily, and uh, it's uh, it's working great. Uh, we still have uh, problems, um, performance problems with our API actually. Uh, so uh, we cannot do uh, everything that we need to, um, but uh, we will uh, try to improve the, the API so that our, our triage automation uh, can do uh, its work. And, um, and yeah, we plan to make the triage automation uh, uh, a gem to be able to use it for any projects in the future. Uh, so yeah, uh, Q4 KRs. So uh, for Q3, uh, the problem with that we had two uh, big, vague uh, objectives, too many big, vague uh, objectives. So now we try to, we try to um, have more precise um, key results. Uh, so we will um, ship um, a script, um, like we will improve our Cedar script to uh, be able to populate uh, development databases with a lot of data. 
And thanks to Zegoyan and James, um, uh, we will uh, we will make great progress in the next uh, in the next uh, following weeks. So that's great. And then we will, uh, as I just said, we'll make the triage project um, a gem so that we can use it for any projects. Um, then we will uh, implement three new scenarios in GitLab QA, so to test the container registry, um, test the upgrade from CE to EE, and test um, a simple push. Uh, so basically this is to test um, that when you push a commit, um, it triggers uh, some actions, uh, it has some effects in GitLab. Um, and it's worth, not, worth noticing that other teams with, will also um, contribute scenarios. So for example, the backup restore that I mentioned before will be, um, uh, will be contributed by the platform team, if I'm not mistaken. Um, then we will try to deduplicate uh, at least five redundant feature tests because we have a lot of tests, which is good, but I suspect that we also have a lot of duplicated tests and that's uh, a waste. So we we'll try to identify and, and remove um, redundant, redundant tests. Um, we'll also improve um, uh, the, the top five longest spec files um, in terms of duration, of course. So we'll try to improve them by uh, at least uh, 30%. Then we will investigate code with less than 60% test coverage um, and, and add tests for uh, the, the five most critical files. Um, we'll also investigate uh, a backstage improvement to encapsulate instance variables um, into, uh, in, into a single uh, object, basically, to uh, try to uh, stop the madness of having a lot of instance variables um, passed pass to the views. Um, so this is really a, a, an investigation. Um, and then we will also uh, try to reduce duplication. So in the views, uh, in, the, in the forms, uh, there, there is a, a great work that has been done by Nick already, and we will try to uh, build up on that. And we'll also solve uh, at least three outstanding performance issues. So we already solved one for the branches page. So we we'll, uh, solve two more at least. And I think that's it uh, for today. So if there is any questions, um, let me know. So there is a question by Sid. What do we need to do to get the pipeline under 20 minutes? Um, I see it is under 20 minutes sometimes. What does it take to get it under 10 minutes? Uh, so if we take the graph that I uh, showed earlier, uh, this one, uh, this graph is only about um, the tests, uh, so it, it doesn't reflect the whole pipelines. Um, but uh, so if we want to get the pipelines, the whole pipelines in our 20 minutes, uh, it will be challenging because it will mean that uh, we'll have to also split um, to, to um, basically balance not only the, the tests, um, uh, runs, but also other jobs that that would take that are taking more than twenty minutes. Uh, I don't think we have a lot uh, right now, but we, we might have some. Um, but for the test jobs, uh, there are a few solutions. Of course, uh, we could increase the prioritization. Uh, we could. Um, also maybe investigate using uh, even uh, more powerful droplets, uh, but this will have a cost, of course. And, um, but yeah, I think uh, increasing the polarization is, uh, is obviously a, a, a good uh, way to uh, reduce the, the duration. We just have to find a balance uh, between the the cost of a pipeline and, and, and its duration, but uh, that's totally possible. 
And yeah, under 10 minutes, um, yeah, I think if we want the pipelines to, to be under 10 minutes, we'll definitely have to improve uh, other jobs and not only the, the test ones. <laughs> five minutes, I don't know, five minutes, I, I don't know. <laughs> Can we switch to spot instances? Um, I don't, uh, I'm not aware of, uh, I'm not familiar with spot instances. So I'm sorry, I cannot uh, reply for this one. And the last question from Gabriel, what about trying to optimize the Postgres Docker for write? Like in your any data consistency mechanism? Yeah, there, there were some uh, proposals in the past. Uh, I recall one from Nick. Um, uh, one was to use uh, a file system uh, that is basically using the, the RAM. Uh, so, so it's uh, a lot faster. Uh, but yeah, we could also try to, to uh, play with Postgres, um, but we should also keep in mind that we need to, um, we are testing against uh, MySQL also. So it, will, it would mean, I think it would mean uh, uh, a lot of uh, work uh, also for MySQL. So, but feel free to, to create an issue uh, if you have ideas about that. And uh, yeah, thanks for the link. Okay, uh, thanks for the link. I don't think I will be able to uh, reply right now, but uh, I can create an issue uh, to, uh, to uh, discuss this, uh, this possibility. Okay, uh, if there's no other questions, I uh, will give you um, 13 minutes back. And okay, cool. I will, uh, I will try to follow up on that. Thanks. Okay, have a nice day and see you in the team room. Bye-bye.